In this video, we are going to discuss about a problem related to energy and power of a signal. So, here we need to find out the energy of the signal. If we found that is a energy signal, then we can say the power is equal to 0. If uh, we observe that signal as a power signal, then definitely the energy associated with that signal we can say directly as infinity. So, let me uh, confirm whether it is a energy signal or power signal they given check for energy and power of given signal this is the given signal so they given in uh, pictorial representation the image of the signal they given first we need to define the signal then only we can uh, uh, represent that definition in the equation of energy or power so now i am going to define the signal x of t so first of all x of t so, whatever points you observed about x of t that I am going to write here, whatever points we are going to observe that uh, I want to note here. So, first of all that is a finite duration signal or infinite duration signal we need to check here. So, why because we are having two two formulas for both uh, calculating energy and power. So, here uh, this is of finite duration you can observe the signal we are having from 0 to t only not up to infinity this is not continued to infinity this signal they given from 0 to t so x of t is a finite duration signal so in future you, you need to consider the finite duration formulas for to calculate either energy or power so now coming to the definition of x of t x of t is equal to a so, whenever we are representing any signal, that signal we can represent with voltage only. So, always signal is nothing but a particular voltage here. So, here that voltage is equal to A from 0 to T. That means, 0 less than T less than capital T, your signal is equal to A. In all other cases, this is equal to 0. Like this, we need to write definition for any other signal. So, here from 0 to t that means you are, if your t is in between 0 to t your value of signal is equal to a in all other cases that means from t to plus infinity from 0 to minus infinity that signal shows 0 that means elsewhere your signal shows 0. Now, first of all we do not know either that is energy signal or power signal that we need to calculate. So, here I am going to calculate energy first. The equation for finite duration energy calculation is minus T 2 T x square of T dt. So, here this is the formula to calculate finite duration energy. So, now I am going to substitute whatever values we are having that we are going to substitute here. So, now you can see you are having so minus uh, T 2 T means here you need to see but your signal you are having from 0 to t only that means if you segregated this integral from minus t to 0 and 0 to plus infinity so then minus t to 0 you are not having signal so your limits are going to vary from 0 to t so why because you are having your signal from 0 to t only so no need to calculate from minus t to t so minus t to 0 your integral value is 0 there so, 0 to t x square of t means, so in this, in this case your x of t value is a. So, a square dt. So, a square dt is your value. So, now you need to substitute that. So, that means, so here a square is a constant. For example, a is a amplitude. That amplitude may be either 2 volts, 3 volts, 4 volts or 2.5 volts like anything. So, whatever it may be that is a constant value. So, here that a square you can take it as common. So, a square integral 0 to t. So, 1 dt will remain. So, here nothing is there means 1 dt. So, 1 dt means integral 1 means so you are going to get t. So, here a square t you need to substitute that limits. So, if you substituted that limits upper limit minus lower limit that means a square upper limit minus 0 in, in place of t you need to substitute upper limit minus lower limit is 0 t minus 0. So, a square t is your energy. So, that is in joules energy always will calculate in joules. 
so here a square t is a constant value finite value or infinite value so here t is a finite duration interval that means finite value that may be 2 seconds 3 seconds 4 seconds or anything here a is also a finite duration total value is finite or infinite means this is a finite value so this whatever energy we calculated that is finite so according to the definition of energy signal whenever we observe the energy of the signal is finite then that signal is said to be energy signal so and we know that a signal can't be both energy and power signal at a time so definitely the given signal is a energy signal so if you want to calculate that energy like this you need to calculate the energy of that particular signal is a square t and this is not at all a power signal if you want to calculate power also you are going to get zero only if you if you want to calculate power also you are going to get zero and here that power is equivalent to 0 means according to which theory you, are, you want to uh, make this means. So, for a energy signal the power is equivalent to always 0 like this we need to calculate the power of signal. So, always whatever signals are there that signals uh, either energy signals or power signals. So, at a time a signal can't be both energy and power. So, I, cal I calculated energy first and I got a finite value then I decided that this is the energy signal. For an energy signal you know that the power is equivalent to 0. For example, some other signal you calculated power and you got a finite value then you can say that is a power signal and the energy associated with that is equivalent to infinity. That case is also we will see in the next class. So, for example, the given signal is power then how we can find how we can justify that is a power signal and how the energy can be infinity we will see in the next class uh, in a different problem.